Toyota Prius light bulb replacement. Okay. Now this, uh, some of these jobs on some of these cars, uh, you have to take the whole assembly out. But this one, you, if you can get your hands in there, all you have to do is get in there and start pulling these bulbs out by hand. Now, these are not too bad. The high beam, the low beam, it's pretty easy. You gotta turn the unit down in here. I have to point with my finger here. It's pretty dark. Okay, there we go. This one right here with the green on it. That one is your low beam. And this one over here is your high beam, okay? And you just slide off that little boot there, turn it counterclockwise and it'll come right off and it's keyed to go right back in clockwise and you change your bulb. Just make sure you wear gloves. Any of these bulbs you touch, wear gloves. Halogen or not, just wear gloves, okay? And those are pretty easy. I mean, there you can see any kind of video or just figure it out yourself. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just turn them, turn them counterclockwise and put them back in. Make sure that they're gonna end up back in the same position as those are because they're keyed. Now, that's what I'm coming to here. My problem was these side marker bulbs, the white, and the white bulb under here, which is th under a yellow reflector, and these are out. And I can't pass inspection with those out. So I had to get those replaced. And I went to see how much they were. And at Toyota, for each side, it's $80 for these on both sides and $80 for these on both sides. And it could be more. They said it could be more or less. But still, I'm looking at a $200 bill for doggone bulbs. So I went and out and got some bulbs, some 2825s. And when I first started doing this one here, it was a bear, okay? These are keyed, and I'm gonna show you on my computer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. These are keyed, so they gotta go back in exactly the same way they came out. Yes, they come off counterclockwise, but they go back in clockwise, and it should be quite simple. If it gives you a problem, it's, going, it's not keying up right. And there's one big key in all the four keys, and you'll see what the keys I'm talking about in just a second here. But I lost, two brand new bulbs inside here. They're somewhere inside this headlight assembly floating around. I had to go drive out and get some more. So I'm telling you, take your time with this. From the driving and all this, this took me three and a half hours, okay? To go get the bulbs, to lose the bulbs in there, and to figure out that it's keyed all crazy. Now let me talk about the key real quick on the computer. Okay, here I have a picture on my computer here of the actual part that holds the bulb. The bulb is held in here, okay? It's just a 2825 bulb, slides right in there. It's a little bitty popcorn bulb, whatever you call them. They used to call them popcorn bulbs in the, the day. And your wiring comes out on this side. But these are the keys I'm talking about, right here. These keys, and one's fatter than the other. So let's see if I can find the slide here to get you the one to see the, uh, the keyed portion. There it is. Now, this is what I'm talking about. When you pull it out, it's going to be difficult if you don't remember with your fingers because you're not going to be able to see in there. You won't be able to get a flashlight in your hand and your other hand. You won't be able to get one hand in there. So you've got to determine how this thing's light up in there. All right. And this key, let me use my pencil here to point to it. This key is real fat. And none of the videos I've seen to do this job does it tell you about these keys in this one big fat one here. If you do not have, and this is where your bulb sits in here, if you do not have the key set up right there, you will be pushing and shoveling on it until the bulb falls inside the assembly, okay? So I warn you, make sure when you take it out or at least look under there with a mirror or whatever you need to do to make sure you understand how it was keyed before you take it out or after you take it out and what the key assembly looks like inside there. So use a mirror, take a flashlight, look in there after you've taken it out and look at the key assembly. And like I said, it's a, uh, it's, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So when you take it out, you're gonna turn it left, but your hand is gonna be backwards. So you're literally gonna go in this direction, backwards with your hand, and this way to tighten it back up, okay? I know it's confusing, but because you're doing everything inverse of itself, that's how you have to look at it in your mind. Okay, let's go back to the car real quick and just point out where these doggone lovely little side markers are, and then you can have a field day yourself like I did. Okay, like I said, these are your two worst bulbs to take out here. Make sure you wear gloves, okay? And they're keyed. And you gotta make sure you gotta remember how they went in and how they came out. Now I'm gonna show you exactly where they are. I'm using my chopstick pointer here. And we're gonna go in. And we're gonna go in and over so I can point this one out here. This is your high beam bulb. I'm gonna take you first to the high beam bulb. Okay, there's the high beam bulb. Now right above it, right here, there's that little monster right there. Can you see it? 
And you'll only be able to see it with your hand when you're in there reaching for it, okay? And you're gonna turn it lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, or counterclockwise loose, and right turn or clockwise tight, okay? There it is right there, can you see it? It's a booger to get to, and make sure you understand it's keyed. Now the other one here is this one, the side marker. Side marker is a real tough one to get to, especially on the other side. Okay, first we're gonna see where this one is. There's that, that's the, uh, your, your regular beam, your, your regular lights, okay? Now, if you go up and over here, you can see it right there, right there, in the darkness there. There it is, you've gotta turn that one out. That's gotta come out, and it's, a, it's in a weird, weird state, as a standing or whatever you call it, and it's keyed also. You're gonna go in there and get that out, okay? And it'll come out straight out. This one comes, the other one comes down, okay? So that's the only way you can get referenced by it when your hand's in there. And you gotta use your pinky to like check the hole and see if you can find it, okay? It's a real bear to get to, but there it is. It's right there, okay? If you can see how my pointer is, right there. So that's it, folks. I am not pulling these things out again. You can check other people's videos and they'll show you, but they're gonna block it with their hands anyway and you, you're gonna have to do it yourself. But remember, it is keyed. And righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, counterclockwise loosen right clockwise or clockwise tighten okay that's it that's all i'm gonna tell you so maybe your trip and adventure will be less than mine or enjoy a lovely field day all right good luck god bless and it works for me